<laughs> yeah. yeah, I can't. Um, mm. you put in Frisk. Go to Frisk. Uh, go, go, go to Frisk fan server. Yeah. At and and then where at, is it? The noise is it? At Aaron for me. Wait, let's see if Aaron's on. Oh uh, yeah. At Aaron. Yeah, if I can do it. And just until then, let's let's start getting the stream underway. <laughs> <laughs> let's turn that off for now so that. so professional. <laughs> Mate, I left at 10.30 this morning thinking, that takes 45 minutes to get to yours. Yeah. Oh, I, I think I already clicked start. So. Oh, we're streaming? Yeah, 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 this is live. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just telling Leo we're streaming because he owes me so many favours. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather have see people that are, like, we're on time rather than... <laughs> Alright, sweet. Let's go online. Make it seem Let's go online in game. Um, I assume we're live. If not, I yep. mean, it's Aaron's job to start tweeting it. Not yeah. Aaron. It's Simon's job to start. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> show us your smile. Yes, Aaron Chance. Show us your smile. Um, we're about to go live here today, and the most important thing is we've got the plush. It's Padonison. People keep asking me who is Padonison. It's quite clearly this beautiful man known as Padonison. They don't of, often uh, they don't ask us often enough how is Padonison. However, yeah. Also, this is Simon. I mean, for the people, I mean, you guys should know. If who you're Simon. on my channel, <laughs> you already know me. But yeah. if you don't, this is Burb. Yeah, unfortunately, that's why we're here today. Unfortunately, you now know who I am. Uh, what do you do, Link Battle? I don't uh, know. yeah, yeah. Wait, uh, can someone tell Sork to challenge me, Aaron, or Odds? Can one of you two tell, tell, tell Sork to challenge me? We'll, we'll wait for Sork to challenge me, because, um, yeah, we're, we're ready to go. Um, obviously, we've got, the, we've got the beautiful boy known as Gyarados. Definitely excited for this, so massive thanks to Simon. So if you two don't know, like, how the heck do we relate? No, we're not brothers, I know. It, that'd be a burden yeah. to Simon. Yeah, yeah, it really would. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so me and Simon play VGC together, and I play Draft League, um, and this is my first Draft League game for the IBA, and I'm repping the Whelmers, and I know that I'm oh, probably... I should be in chase the match. <laughs> so IBA Week 1? Yeah, IBA Week 1. Show us your smile, yes. Um, has Sork challenged us? Because I haven't seen Sork thing come up. Hey, hey, Mike, how are you doing today? Same as Aaron and Odds, yeah. If Sork can challenge me, that'd be great, um, because we are online, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, ooh. No, we're not online, sorry. Yeah. Um, we... I don't have a battle box either. Oh. So, so unprofessional. Yeah, one sec. Can someone tell us off we're about to go online? Yeah. So good. I mean... Does this... No, this shows us a... This shows us the day. <laughs> oh, yeah, that that's bad. Um, <laughs> yeah, sorry, one sec, guys. One sec. What? Yeah. How keen is his eye, though? Did he really see that? <laughs> I mean, I did tell people that I don't really mind if people stream type me and stuff. If someone can just let Sork know that we're about to go online and challenge me. Yeah. Um, sorry about all the delays, Sork. I really appreciate it, man. Uh, we've just been driving. Oh, well, I've been driving, not Simon. This is Simon's house. Yeah, well, I've, I've still been driving. <laughs> to Simon's house. To the plushie. How good is Guy Arrow? He's up. How good? Oh, boy. And, um, yeah. Go with your smile is definitely odd. <laughs> so... The way that this is sort of going to work is I'm going to try my best to commentate and Simon's a lot better of a commentator than I am, but I want to get Simon's feedback on like commentary and stuff. I've got to move over more to you. We should probably see it, shouldn't we? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we should. <laughs> this is too professional. Oh, I swear I've got the We're good at this. We're far good. We're far good. Oh, boys. Oh, Aradoth. Big fan. Thank you. Look, the big fan of Simon. Oh, oh no. Welcome, Brunson. Right, welcome. All right, sweet. Wait, Aaron, can you at Mystic Umbreon for me? No, <laughs> have we tweeted that we're live? Uh, no, no, I haven't. Wait, I was that's... just waiting for you to get here and then <laughs> that's kind of sorted everything. That's fine. Yeah, but um, we're just setting up here. We're game syncing at the moment. So, yeah, we're just getting set up. Because Bird is stupid, but not like Padaro. Stay hydrated. Oh, yeah, shout out to Egan. Big fan, big fan, Christopher Egan. Mm. Yeah. 
I would love my 4G to work in Simon's house, but apparently that's not the only thing I need. <laughs> Game sync is taking a while. Yeah. Sorry about this, Sork. Um, yeah, if someone can just keep Sork updated for me, much, much more appreciated. There know. we go. Yeah. So, we're about to go. We're about to go. Um, I didn't... So let's go. I mean... Yeah, someone just tell Sork to challenge me. Yeah. I've got Gyarados here. It's definitely an interesting matchup. I'm actually going to be a bit more lighthearted and stuff with these sort of... Um, I'm not a singles player. I'm not helping him play if anyone has any uh, no, I'm getting worries about that. I know. You guys are worried about Simon goes to me. It's Gyarados. He goes to me. I says... <laughs> it's true. I know. I love my... That's how I cut tournaments. I have this Gyarados with me and it just speaks to me. Yeah. And, si and Simon's got Piplop, so that's sweet. Joe is your smile. Okay, Aaron. Yeah, my smile's a bit cringe, isn't it? At Zazo. Mm. <laughs> yeah. If someone if someone can tell Sork to challenge me, that'd be great. Or am I challenging Sork? Because my I don't actually have Discord up at the moment. <laughs> challenge me, fool. See that goes through. Yeah, really sorry about the lack of professional guys. Run Lapras, you coward. <laughs> is that that's is that, is that's that... Fabio. Oh, mate. One of my viewers. Mate, we do have a, we do have Lapras on the team, but we aren't bringing it. So another big thing I want to emphasize today is, guys, is that it is our week one battle of the IBA. It is going to be, all the games are going to be streamed, and they'll be ported. In, yeah, definitely to De Dragon Dance Wisconsin. But yeah, um, I'm going to try to stream all my games this season uh, through Simon Swiss channel. And then on top of that, they'll be ported to my YouTube channel, and there'll be a post-com, live-com, and then the team builder. And at the end of this battle, it will be the team builder. So, and who was it that's helping you edit again? Uh, Aaron 2420, and big shout-outs to Badonison. Arados, but also but only for, for helping me get my team. I uh, thank you, Mike. Yeah. Okay, Sork's inviting, so let's go. Alright, time for Gyarados. You sit there, Gyarados. You're a wood pub boy. Oh no, they can't see that. What doesn't he? Put Gyarados there. Yeah. If someone can like just put in like frisk or something like that. Ooh, we got ten, that's good. That's a wood. Whom sister stream games it is I, Padonison, but look, it's you. You are Padonison. Oh, mm. It's Padonison in plushy form. Who knew? Who knew? Yeah, God bless Simon. Simon spends money on capture cards, but just fees are fees and idiots. That's great. Spending money is what I do best. Yes! That's so I thought. Please people up as well. That's even yeah. uh, better. Alright. So, also, if people are, like, worried that I'm going to get stream sniped, I don't really care. <laughs> if, if Besides, you... we don't have the um, bottom screen showing. No, so... but I'm going to talk about my, like, moves. Oh, and stuff. true. true. <laughs> watch it on mute, Sork. I need the view, so can you just watch it on mute? <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, this beautiful thing will attack. Do not trigger Padonison. Silly assistant store manager. Oh, that threat will scare anyone. I oh, know. Take a shot. <laughs> You're dead on impact, Padonison. <laughs> Which one is my team? Uh, it's six. Sweet. I love Impala. I just love the team. <laughs> yeah. Can we just? Can someone check the battle box for me? <laughs> oh, everyone's big fan. So it's good to see. You know, a bit of community chat. Yes, yeah. so we definitely let the battle begin, or whatever I click. Um, yeah, so the team that I'm actually... Here's an idea. Uh-oh. Ooh, that's what we want. There we go. Yeah, so that's definitely a good thing. Um, so when it comes to the game itself, I do have a very interesting team. I do have um, two very good sets. I do, I am, I'm not going to say what I'm bringing just yet. I just want to let Sork select his team. We might have like 85 different teams. Um, so let's just look into this from my perspective. My real perspective with this is I want to try to scout early game and let's see what he's going to bring. Okay, so the first thing to note is he has the Zoroark and Zoroark's main ability or anything that's main focus is, is using that illusion ability. Now, on top of that, Clef has two main mindsets. It's going to be either one, unaware, or magic guard. Now, if it is magic guard, my best answer to that is to 1v1 it with the Volcarona. If it is the actual like life orb set, uh, same Volcarona. If it's and then trying to reveal one of my techs now on top of that if it is uh, unaware i do have a, a mon with toxic on my team uh the next sort of mon it's one of these six <laughs> one of these six uh the other thing to note as well he does have two rockers kamo and Clefable. and because of that i think my best lead is actually going to be my mega altaria uh yes it is a mega oh no i've spoiled my own items <laughs> but yeah i think that that's my sort of best bet because once I get start getting these sort of things that I set up, it's definitely going to help. And that's what I'm really trying to do, is just trying to scout out things. So, 
very good luck to Sork. Uh, check him out as well. He's good to Sork as well. Oh, we didn't check. We're actually going to port this. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, yeah. I have been saving. That's fine. What? Take Masto, take a shot er every time Burb says anything, really. Take every time, take a shot every time Burb says something stupid. Uh, so now we're it's in. It's every word. <laughs> Not Mega Verdonison. Alt, whatever that is. Okay, Magnazone. this is like Magnazone. Okay, now, the thing about this is I don't really care. Oh, sweet. That's pretty cool. Woo! <laughs> it's anarchy. All right, so I'm going to predict, like, Scarf EQ or, like, Agility or something silly, but I just really want to break the sash on this. Now, from... Me oh, I didn't take a screenshot of his team. That's really annoying. But from memory, he doesn't have a Gligar. How do I check that? Isn't that Y or something? I can check. Uh, y. Yeah. yeah. There's also, like, a button, but you can't do it now. Yeah. So I, I definitely know that this Magnazone is like there's no Gligar so he doesn't have a grand resist so this is really free this turn now if it is specs i am creeping specs so unless he's sturdy or analytic i drop this turn one with eq um and then on top of that if he tries to switch out magnazone is the only thing that doesn't get paralyzed by body slam uh and there's on top of that as well like there's no real defog option that he has like i saw i'm shaking i'm sure the one shaking it's nervous but on he's a little cold <laughs> a little cold but on he's here to save me or a bug wood oh boy yes um, yeah, so we do have the Mega Rotario here. Uh, the only set that I really fear is Scarf, and even then, I think it's going to be that, like, it could be the um, Zoroark. I actually don't remember what his Z Captains are, so it does not worry me. If it is Zoroark and he goes for, like, Nasty. Nice surprise. Won't go for that way. Yeah. But, yeah, thanks, Bronze. It is on the Bronze scene, but at the moment, we can't actually look at it. Yeah. Right. Uh, so we're just going to take it one step at a time. Hey! It'd be really nice if you could look at it after choosing your moves, but. Course, they're not that nice. At us. Flame Nintendo. Alright. Oh, yes, this is going first. That's good. Good job, Altario. I really reckon this is going to be Zoroark after thinking about it for like 20 seconds, but even then, I don't think he wants to stay in and risk anything. Yeah, oh, nice. It is the Zoroark, and that does a lot of damage. That's a crit. Only Burb would get crit turn one. Oh, I better love life. Yeah, it's a bit confusing, Sludge Bomb from the Magnet Zone, but being the Zoroark, that does make a lot of sense. Yeah. Now, he probably has that advantage now that he knows what my Altaria is. Now, I can definitely roost up with my Altaria later on in the game. But I'm actually going to go out into my Barbarical here. Just because I want to start shipping down a lot of his team. But he does... So, what it's important to note as well is that now I know when the health comes in. But also as well, with Breaking Zoroark's Disguise, I now can play a lot more freely with each of my moves. This is where this knowledge is really going to come into play really quickly and really help me out. Oh, and Zorak's nickname is Donga, in case yeah. that helps. Thank you, thank you, Simon. That's ghosting, stop for that. <laughs> so, yeah, he does... So, with Record, what is this? Sweet. We now get in our Barbarical, and this is going to be a free exit. I remember that he has Kamoa, but I don't... Actually, no, I don't have anything for Dummy. I think. I'll just double-check on my moves. No, I definitely can just go for exit. If he goes into Kamoa, it doesn't really worry me. Um, now, the big thing to note about this as well... Going to Padonison. Not yet, Padonison. He is still in the back because he's a bargain. Oh boy. Um, yeah, I just go for uh, Exizor here because I just want to chip down the um, chip down the Starmie. Unless it's Tangerberry. I think that his best move here, here is he has to stay in and click. And then he's going to go into Kamo. And then he's going to try to click Dragon Dance. So sweet. So this should be the first kill of the season. Unless it's like Tangerberry. Oh, what? That fast? No. I mean, I don't... No, it's not isn't used in singles, really. It is, but of, it oh. is used. But the main thing about that is that that play really doesn't make any sense to me. He's like fizz death. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go for exes again. He now knows that I'm like scarf. So this barbarical uses like loses a lot of its use. And on top of that, I'm faster now. Yeah. yeah, it's faster. So he's gonna go for T bolt here. This will probably drop. And oh, we live on one, and it's orb. <laughs> Good boy, barbarical. So. We don't get the first kill of the season, but we do. <laughs> I really hope he goes into Kamoa here because um, the only Kamo like I can sack this to the Kamoa. I do have a really nice answer to it, and on top of that as well, like the axes are missing out on that kill by like one percent, like a very low roll is definitely going to hurt me. But more so on top of that, I'm really focusing on the trying to get kills. Okay, so this is Meloetta. I'm going to go stay in here and go for axes, or if he does try to go for Relic Song, that is going to be annoying because that Relic Song will take me out. Anyway, I think he changed his form, yeah, so it is Relic Song, but that's, that's hype, that's hot, you know, I'll, I'll rate that, that's, that's pretty hot, um, I do it think... It does one damage, not very strong. <laughs> but he, more so even changing types, is more so the issue, because I really don't have many answers for this Meloetta, because Meloetta does get Stone Edge from memory, um, 
And I think that it's time to go into the far road. Oh boy. Um, yeah. I think it does get stoned. I can't remember if it gets... I, <laughs> hopefully I can get the second... Thank you, Aaron Chan. Good good comment, Aaron Chan. I think Good it... Right now. Yeah. Yeah. I do think it has T-Bolt, but at the same time, I think I need to sort of start making some moves. And when I say that, I mean, like, if it is T-Bolt, it is T-Bolt. But he's Relic Song. Like, why would you be T-Bolt Relic Song? Unless you're going for, like, the sleep chance. I don't know. Why would you be T-Bolt Relic Song? Well, to kill the Gyarados. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> um, yeah, so... I definitely want to see what he goes here. Padonison is on the screen. Padonison, Padonison, does whatever a Padonison does. Spins a web. No, he can't, because he's Padonison. And he goes, <laughs> I love Padonison. True story. Yeah, it is. He's up, Pagod. Bye, boy. Let's imagine if G Joy Arados got the first kill of the season for the Whammers. How hype would that be? You know, like, that's what I want to see. Yeah. The first kill of the season to my boy, Gyarados. Sadly, we don't have plushies for anything else in the No, game. no, no, Simon. It's, it's okay. We have Gyarados here. We don't want to bring the spotlight follow. away. <laughs> um, yeah. He's definitely thinking here because he's probably like, how do I stop Gyarados? He's up. Oh, oh boy. Um, I think his... Oh, is this a Z-Captain? Since when? I actually don't remember Meloetta being a Z-Captain. Nice continental crush. Is it actually? Yeah. It's not going to be goodbye though. We're max bulk. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Continental Crush. Yeah, but I'm bulky Gyarados and I've, I've got vitamin. Yeah. Gyarados, be a for good, for boy, for pervert. The rock move that hits. No! Oh, I don't eat, son. At least we scared them. No, that's like game now. I can't actually beat this. <laughs> Yeah, no, that I actually can't win now. <laughs> I thought that, like, I'm bulky, so I don't know what this... Malibut is such an unmon. Like, I'm going to lose, like, 5-0 because of it, but it's such an unmon. If I knew that that would have killed, I wouldn't have stayed in. But at the same time, I actually didn't know that was a, a Z-Captain. Like, from memory, I'm like, oh, actually, no, that's right, I changed it last minute. It's not bulky DOS. It's not max HP. I know what that mon is now. Uh, uh, yeah, it was really offensive. I should have preserved my Gyarados, because Gyarados would have been really good in this matchup. Since I did nothing, it's entirely his fault. <laughs> That's so funny. Balls me again. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that. It's such a weird Z Captain. He He's changed Z Captains about four times since the draft ended. And that's really hurt my prep because he like had free four times before week one. <laughs> that's solid. So he's he dropped he dropped his Swampert for Gligar, and then on top of that he dropped um he dropped he's, he switched to Z Captain from one of his monsters to Lazul, and then Meloetta is apparently a Z Captain as well. Uh, I really don't know what it is, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna complain. Um, as I said, I'm just here to muck around, have fun. Okay, so he does withdraw. He's probably just gonna go out into the Kylo, which is a Fable. Um, yeah, and this is like game. <laughs> if he, unless he's like, if he's like, I imagine he is gonna be Magic God because of the way he brought it in. Um, so let's see what it is. Ooh, done it where? Good boy, Dragon Knight. So we're gonna go out. We're gonna sack Altaria here. Now the reason we're gonna do this is because I think that with the move set he has to be a uh, Hulet. I I know Bronson. It's it's a very controversial thing, but I don't want people thinking I get special privilege. So, I really just want to go into Altario here, force him to click Moonblast, drop that, and then go out into my um, Volcarona here, because Volcarona's my main. Uh, if he does try to predict the Volt coming in, I just want to see what like sort of set he is. So, he just goes for the rocks. That's perfect. That actually is perfect. Because now, I know what one of his moves he is. Okay, so he is Leftovers, but he is Toxic, so that's important to know. So, like, every turn he's going to be taking that little bit of Toxic damage, and on top of that, with this defog this turn, it then means I can go out into Volcarona. And actually, let me just look at how do I check? So, why? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so we still got Zoroark left, he's still got Starmie, he's still got Meloetta, he's still got Mangazone. So, once I start. And it, Kamara. Yeah. Now, but if, yeah, but I still have a way to beat the Kamara. So, I'm just going to defog this turn. If he tries to go for Rocks again, that's fine. He's just taking more and more toxic damage. Um, Alright, so let's see what he goes here. I think he should go for the Moonblast. Yep, yeah, that's fine by me. Um, now, on top of this, it's going to be hard because I'm really in some big 50-50 spots in terms of what do I have to start doing. And I think one of the big things is I have to nearly start going for a bit of game. And the way that I have to do this is going to be absolutely a bitch. 
because I do have a way out, if that makes sense, but I need the way to get, like, get out is going to be really hard. Um, no mass, though. He was allowed to make, until the 22nd, so until this morning, he was allowed to make as many transactions as he to his team in IBA. That's the rule set. So we're just going to go quiv quiver here, because I think he really should go out into Kamoa, and if he doesn't, he's T-Wave, and that's fine, um, because I'm just going to keep quiver spamming. Uh, the Kamoa should be soundproof. And if he goes for rocks, that's fine by me. I am a very bulky, uh, very bulky Volcarona here. I think he might be like weakness policy or something like that. So he, why he stayed in, he's definitely going for rocks here. And on top of this, my Volk is still intact or he's probably going to go for a Toxic. Let's see what he's going to go for here. So he goes for Psy Shock. Very interesting move here. And That could, could be annoying. Oh, that maybe not. Yeah. Yeah, that won't be annoying. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, just because it is Simon's chat, it does. I, it's up to Simon whether or not he wants to police words like that. Oh, um, just don't say things like that too often. But yeah, you're good, Master. Yeah. Oh, good. I just wanted to make sure that, like, I think yeah. if we pull it up now, it's fine. Okay. Uh, I don't know. If, generally, I'm fine with swears, but not slurs, just because. Oh, I, mis I misclicked, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter too much though. Aaron, it won't be a Volcarona sweep. Because he is unaware. Yeah. I was thinking of that, but I wasn't saying it because I don't want to help. <laughs> I will imagine that, like, this isn't game just yet, if that makes sense. Um, it is getting very close, though. Alright, sweet. I'm hoping that this turn... Uh, Bronson, to answer your question... Uh, he might be trying to throw so that the first um, the first streamed game can be a win to bring some more hype to the uh, to the entire thing. Okay, this um, is this is a dead magnet zone. If that is his play, it's a bit questionable because it doesn't go too well for him. But yeah, no complaints on this side. Mm. Um, it, I don't think I can. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not running calcs because I'm streaming. <laughs> yeah, I gotta keep remembering where my face cam actually is. So it's gonna be very close. That's all I'm gonna say. It's not Zevo Corona. Um, but it is gonna be close. Uh, it just it comes down to what like his last sort of set is, if that makes sense. So I could have. Move it up one more time. Okay, this is going to be the mower. I'm going to go make a play. Is this a play? Who knows? I, I certainly don't. Yeah. I don't play singles. Um, just because this is like my one way out. Uh, yeah, it's rock slide. It's fine. I said that too. So I'm just thinking about this play. Um, as I said, <laughs> who is E Rich? I uh, not one of my viewers. Oh, that's right. VGC player. Yeah. So, so sorry for the internet. This isn't VGC. Yeah, we do apologize for that. Uh, the play here is this because can't be Z Kamoa. And if didn't you, you see the tweet, uh, Chase? He said that this was going to be happening for a while. So yeah, yeah. I, I knew that he was going to go back out into. Fable, but that's fine by me because all I'm really trying to do here is to limit as much of his team as possible. And I think that with my investment, it's going to be very close. Um, Personally, I'm not sure. That's in range. Well, I'm not the one playing, so. <laughs> Show us your smile! <laughs> Show us your smile! <laughs> oh, that's so close. That's actually annoying. So, it is the um, 
name for this team under the Whalers? Yes, this is yeah. the New South Wales. New South Wales. Yeah, yeah. So we are doing VGC, and that's also where the partnership comes in really nicely. The Dragonite gets the second kill of the Whalers season. I think from I think from memory, Relic Song's a ten percent chance of leak. But I don't know. It is. I, I I don't memorize the things about Pokemon I don't see. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Sorry, Chase. No, my internet's bad. Do what I can. So the stealth rock's definitely gonna hurt, but depending on what he's depends about what his like set is. Um if it's like clangor or sc scales or whatever it is, I'm in a lot of trouble. Yeah. But at the same time, it's definitely interesting to see. I he I don't really understand the rocks play. Hidden power ice, I think it is, but unless it's he got the multi scale up, so Oh, and you live without it anyway. He's just trying to break it for Milowetta. Okay. Wait. Actually, that's the Zoroark. That's a bit of an issue. Is that, is that how Zoroark functions? That's yeah, so yeah, annoying. Every, <laughs> yeah, you can't just break it once. Yeah, no, I didn't know that mechanic. Uh, and that's actually really annoying. <laughs> if I had rocks up, it doesn't have... Because they've got um, Kamo and Milowetta left, is that it? Yeah, they've got Kamo and Milowetta. Yeah. He should go out into Kamoa here. Well, considering how you made it sound like earlier, this game is going a lot better than that. <laughs> it, it's not quite a 5-0 loss. <laughs> yeah, as I said, I'm just trying to have fun with it. And, like, that's my ultimate game. Umada is the mellow weather. Um, it's going to have Stone Edge. So... Ah, uh, yes, but you see, Stone Edge misses. Oh, okay, if it says... If you say that, Simon, I really hope that this is what's going to happen. <laughs> Yeah, same chase. It's oh, that doesn't miss. And it's strong. Mm. That's really annoying. Especially, I should have went for the, um... The, what's it called? The, uh... Yeah, I lose this game now. Because I can't beat Scarf come on. So that was actually really annoying. Because I didn't think he'd bring both coverage. Uh, second Gyarados... Um, second Gyarados really hurt. Because... Arrows was like that pseudo wing con. Uh, if he does go for the relic song here, it's an interesting play, but I can't really think about it, guys. It yeah. does. This shouldn't do that much to hurt. But you did say it has a 10% chance to flee. How lucky is he? I'm good at getting things like that. It is what it is, boys. Uh, it's this far into the game. Yeah, I, I can't do much about it. It sucks, but it's the the way that the game goes. It does suck because that turn I did go for flamethrower. Um, but yeah, it's it's definitely hurt. And that would have burned. <laughs> no, it wouldn't have. It happens. You, you got to take it with a bit of grain of salt. As I said, like this, I was just meant to have fun with this team, and I'm mm. really enjoying like the concept of it. It definitely sucked that earlier in the game I didn't go for, like I didn't have a coverage move for combo because my game plan revolved around me killing or really early on. Yeah. Oh, it's 20%? Thank you, Master. Uh, even then, though, that's still a very low chance for it to happen. Uh, so, close combat. Ooh, can we, can we... That shouldn't kill, that shouldn't kill, that shouldn't kill. Come on, come on, come One on. So, no, no, what's the talk? All so, right. So, provided I don't get rest here, this could be dry, vital. I've got, I got Dragon Pulse, and I've got Flamethrower. Come on, come on. Come on. 66% chance hard. to hit. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, this sucks so much. Yeah. No, I didn't have Draco, but I had Dragon Pulse and, um... And it's after the close combat, so it would have been really good. Yeah. It, it happens, guys. You can't... Like, I can't be mad about this game. Like, yeah. it's week one. Like, yeah. it like, means nothing. There's so much more happening later on. Mm. But one loss doesn't really matter. Everyone's gonna lose here and there. It's not, it's not so much the loss. It's more so the way I played. Like, um... I didn't play to my best, I think. And that sort of hurt. So guys, following this, if you guys have any questions about like my team or anything like that, uh, definitely let me know. But like, let me know now because I'm yeah. going to do a, a team builder post this, um, and we will go through the battle box and stuff. If any um, BGC players want to ask about draft league, Bird will answer that. If any draft league players want to ask about BGC, I'll answer that. Yeah. Um. Ooh. Is that enough? No. 
Is that enough? Yes, it might be actually. That's pretty good. It just depends on the speed stat. Yeah, but the Gyarados thing though, I didn't know he was a Z captain. So that's what some also hurt than anything else. Okay, I think. Minus two defenses and the burn. Yeah, but it's attack stat from close combat that I'm worried about. Yeah. He's also got edge or a rock move on it, so. Yeah, but edge misses. Simon, please. I'm a very bulky Volcarona. Yeah, I definitely would have um, switched that turn, but it is what it is. I think he's going to go for edge here, and it's going to be close. I'm not sure. It's close combat. Okay, this is really interesting. Like, they're very low. Can you just swing now? No, because I don't have a mid touch Kamala. Oh, okay. I'm flying through a bug buzz. Oh, yeah. So... <laughs> Quick. Um. So Actually, I... can you can you open the cap for me? So it won't affect the stream. Yeah. Do what you can. Yeah. Just um. Put in Volcarona. Uh. Not the. Okay. Then go Kamo. Uh. Can you put in for me full special attack investment? Volk. How much does flamethrower do? Uh, uh, it's not modest, by the way. It's rolled. Yep. yep. How much? I got six. That is not it. How much does flamethrower do? How many boosts? Plus one. What about? Okay, I need it. I uh, yes, come on, soundproof for, for, for bug buzz. Yeah, that's that's exactly right. <laughs> Didn't even think of that. Mm, yeah, it was more so for Starmie, uh, if anything else. So what I'm actually going to do this turn is I'm actually going to... It's a 50-50 every time. Yeah. I'm going to QD here. He has to go for a rock move. At the same time, he's going to he should CC again this turn, or he should relic something. He does go for stone edge. It does oh, miss. Thank goodness. I told you it misses. But it doesn't miss too often, so uh, don't risk it. So we know now... That's yeah. a long one, that's it. Just down the range. Okay, can I go... Um... Another word, uh... Like, minus two. Nah, but just worry about the attack, so oh. two. How much has CC been doing? It's been about, like, 10%, I think. Um... Yeah, something like that. I don't think he's adamant then, or like hardy, through what form. Um, put in the other one. Yeah. Just give an armor tag. Stone Edge is not shot with a W. <laughs> That's 60 seconds. Um, That over there, so we can still see chat. Edge also crits. Be careful. Yeah, that's a that's a good point. And Edge does have to increase crit right? Yeah, I'm going for the W more so than anything else. Burn Edge. It's come on, Volk. Nice. So that's four Stone Edges he's going for. How many has he hit? Just the one. Just the one. <laughs> can I check the mellow weather. In terms uh. of. Um, so is this the 20% chance to win, or do you just swing now? No. I can't, I can't beat that Kamoa though, and it's going to go for Rock Slide. Um, so, I'm definitely just going to roost here, because if he, I think he's got to go for CCs. Like, he's risking edges for no reason. I, leave, I should leave two edges, it does 110, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you should hit that, it misses, I think, I think you have 100% wins on. I might, no, I don't yet. It really okay. comes down to 
I've got to get to higher. What are you at? Plus three. But like even oh. then, even then, I just miss out on the KO. Oh, okay. But insane. And you don't. And that's assuming no bulk. Yeah, it really is tough. Rock slide's gonna fuck. Actually, hang on. How much percentage are we at with bulk? We're above 77%, aren't we? Um, yes. My HP. Oh. 169. 154. And you've got more health than that. You haven't put your health in. Yeah, I have. I put 154 at 71. Not, yeah, so. No, 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 no. Like, your health stat. Oh, yeah, true, true. So, yeah, I'm going to start. Oh, yeah, do note that that calc set to 50. So yeah, sweet. It could be different. Old Corona might pull this off. Come on, drop, drop, drop. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, I actually, it depends, Master. My calc here is saying unless it's boosting item, it shouldn't. Because of my bulk. Um, yeah. But at the same time, it's, it's a very close game. We can also have the chance to burn. We thought this would be a 5-0 loss. <laughs> um, it's all thanks to Fedonison. Come on, come on. Burn. Don't be AV. That's like AV. Ooh. Okay. Well. Rock slide can miss. <laughs> <laughs> How much did that do? That did about uh, way too much roast. So I think we're gonna have to play for the miss here. I definitely should have kept quiver dancing up. I knew that this was going to be bulky because he played his Meloetta way too safely. Does that make sense? But we're at plus three, aren't we? Um. I will check mine. Yeah, so we're at plus three currently at the moment. Uh, we're going to need a crit here. So. Uh -uh. Oh. 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 Please land a crit for Padonison. He's watching the game. Do we hit? Oh no. Poison jab. Oh, we should have roosted. <laughs> it's a one on a loss. We'll take it. We'll take it. Lame body, though. Oh, no. <laughs> I should have roosted. Padani, son. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Um... I didn't even... I wasn't even thinking about the other things. It makes sense. Yeah. Oh, well. It makes complete sense. For a guy who drafted a, a pretty meme team, uh, definitely a good game to Sork. Uh, if someone can tell Sork that he's allowed to join streams and know what my team is, that's fine. Um, definitely a good game, and also I will allow him one plug. Uh, it will save the battle video of this. I'm going to upload it now. Oh, you've... Well, you see, oh, Jake. no, we, we can't upload it because we don't have enough space on, on your... You've run out of space for battle videos. <laughs> save it, Sork. <laughs> yeah, if someone can tell Sork real quick just to save it for me. Um, um, actually, I can we delete... Oh, uh, no, so good being. Yeah, because you, you can't delete them from here, it sucks. Yeah. It, it's uh. not a good system. Yeah, so if you guys have any questions, we are going to quickly do a team builder before we go into the NBA game. Um, yeah, so if you guys have any questions for the team, please let me know. Actually, I do have I do have notes. Um, Aaron, I've been watching too many of your battles, man. I threw a choke. I should have clicked. I shouldn't have clicked rest. Um, all right, let's go to Discord. Uh, drag that away. Oops, I wrote disk. Drag that away, and then... Technology's um, hard. Then drag that away. I do apologize for that guy. There you go. Um, right, I do have some notes for this, and I do want to bring them up. Great. So, uh, yeah, so, so feel free to join if you want. I don't really have an issue. Can you just move your headsets, please? Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna... I won't have the matchup on screen. I do apologize for that. But, um... There we go. Yeah, okay, sweet. So, guys, uh, let's go over the team real quick. Uh, so for those of you who aren't aware, uh, the matchup today was I had Volcarona, Flygon, Venomoth, Bling Clang, Gyarados, Megal, Tauri, Dragonite, Barbaric, Tarantar, Lapras, Cross with Terminator. Now this is actually that's a lot of Pokemon. Yeah. Now this is actually sort in speed order from fastest to slowest, and then on top of that he had Salazzle, which I really don't know why he didn't bring that. Uh, Starmie, Zoroark, Meloetta, Kamol, Gulangar, Mega Sieve, Black Fable, Mag. Yeah. So guys, I did make a pretty big choke in this game. Not that last turn, I definitely think that that game came also down to how I played Chaos. And on top of that, I will admit that I probably shouldn't have won that game. 
or come close to it. But uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, but I'm actually going to start going over the team itself. Uh, where do I put this? <laughs> yeah, I do have a phone number. Uh, so if just hit me up, GG. Um, whoops, wrong doc. So, wrong doc. Uh, yeah, so let me just quickly get on my note. Alright, so, I'm going to quickly chuck it in my notes. that alright? Um, yeah. So, the weak builder one builder was going to screw us off. So, the way I said this, I will look at the Twitch chat. Let's just move that up so we can see it. Yeah. Um, okay, Bronson, the reason I clicked my moves so fast is more so because I'm like trying to do like 800 different moves a day. <laughs> so, that definitely was a bit of a misplay, but I do think that he would have been rock sliding, and I also felt really bad if I took him, because he definitely probably deserved that win a lot more than I did. And as I said, I'm really trying to more so focus on my commentary of the game, rather than anything else. So it's very hard to narrate like 90 seconds worth of content when there isn't that much to go. And to try to keep people engaged and all that, it's going to take a while to get accustomed to it. Now, when it came to this game, it it's... took me a while. Yeah. Like, this is my first stream in a really long time. So, when it came to this, so make sure if you guys haven't followed Simon already, um, there's a button there. Yeah, there's a button there. It's somewhere on your screen. Yeah, so definitely make sure to follow Simon if you haven't already. But let's go over the team. I'm uh, really sorry about all my phone and stuff. I will quickly put that down. So, the first thing to note is that when I looked, his team was Salazzle, Stami, Zarawak, Meloetta, Kamo, Gligar, Megatron, Leclerc, Magnus. I didn't think what he brought was anything that hot. Um,. I think that he really got bailed out by my Volcarona not having coverage for people, but he was a solid player. I would be really interesting to find out what his item was because if he was like Kebby, uh, what the fuck he called the missing one? Um, or Kebby, Kebby's ghost. Uh, or Payapa. Payapa buried. Or on top of that, if he was like, I don't know all of those. I'm glad yeah. he said the one I do. You know, one of those like Yachi or something like that. I could really remember it. Now, in terms of the actual game itself, his team is really allowed to be focused because of my types. They're not that different. Especially when you see the matchup, it really helped him out. Like, for example, turn one me, just clicking straight away, Mac, like going for Earthquake on the Magna Zone. It, when it should have just went for Body Slam. And if I got rid of that really early on, that Zoroark, it would have freed up a lot of the game. But I did make some really nice plays in that regard, in which I brought in the uh, Clefable hard, uh, my Mega Rotario hard on that Clefable to do. Uh, so, when I, the first thing I noticed is that, as I said to you guys earlier, he has been making so many transactions that it's hard for me to actually keep up with it. Uh, he's made, I think, five, like, so one of them was even, like, Swampert to Gligar, and I then had to change, like, half my team, because Swampert, I can easily sweep through, like, or Corona, and I thought that Kamoa had to be Dragon Dance. Dragon Dance, Kamoa, absolutely. Uh, Dragon Dance users are going to be really hard to beat for me. I don't also have any more layers, but it's, um, the Scarf mod. Uh, Thunder Wave, Starmie was a really questionable bring. I sort of see why, but it has coverage for every mod on my team that wants to Dragon Dance up. And sort of got bailed out, um, yeah, he sort of got bailed out to that respect. Now, the team really focused on a few things. I wanted to use Scarf Barbarical to, so like, this is my Barbarical set. It was Choice Scarf with Liquidation, Dragon Claw, x through. The Barbarical's main job this game was to get rid of the Salazzle, the Scarf, Stami, Zorowak, and Meloetta. Considering he got rid of all of that stuff, like, I was playing, like, 2-5 down half the game. Now, the, the Barbarical set... I can't really comment on because, like, it took out the Stami. It took out one of the biggest threats. Yeah. It was potentially Scarf. Well, yeah. It wasn't Scarf. Yeah. <laughs> it got up to one and then leave. Yeah. yeah. Um, now... It was a bit he, interesting. He didn't bring the Mega Sizzle, which I think is a very questionable bring because there was so much on my team that would have hated it. Especially the Tyranitar. Tyranitar had a really nice matchup as well. Um, I pro if I probably was to be honest, the one thing I would change is probably dropping Turtonator for the... Tyranitar, but that's only that's only hindsight. Now, when it comes to the Barbarical set, it was x specifically for the Sami, and then Dragon Claw was hit everything neutrally, and he should never bring in his Clefable against my Barbarical. On top of that, Barbarical's liquidation means that he can freely spam it. <laughs> like, his water resist is um, the Stami, which is, doesn't have that much bulk, and also as well Mega Sizzle Magna Zone. On top of that, then Volcarona comes in very freely. So I knew that he was going to always have to bring rocks in this matchup. But rocks Magneton doesn't even resist. Yeah, I know. He doesn't even <laughs> Like, things I don't know. Resist. Things I don't know. So yeah. Um, and then once that would all happen, I was really fizz def bulky. I think I asked, I think I'm going to get the pokey paste up. But the pokey paste was something like 250 gold, 200 HP. Like, it was a really bulky set. Um, also as well, on top of that, when you guys say last turn, I should have went for the uh, roof instead of the... Like, well, that was mostly you saying yeah, but the reason I didn't go for that was because that was an absolute choke on Zorbat. <laughs> he should have clicked Rock Slide or EQ or something like that. So, 
I, know. I, I do understand the poison jab because it, but earthquake would just be as accurate. So it's probably yeah. his most accurate move. Uh, GG to Sork. I really appreciate this man, uh, especially all the hassle and things like that. I know that you weren't someone that. Please was... tell us you saved the game because we weren't able to. Yeah, we didn't save the game, Sork. I'm really sorry about that. Um, but yeah. Um, Worst case scenario, we've got the vod. <laughs> yeah, well, it's going up on YouTube anyway, and that's going out, I think, first of next month or something like that. So the Volcarona set was Quiver Dance, Flamethrower, Bug Bug, and Roost. Uh, now it did okay, come. Saved it. Saved it. Sweet. Thank you. Can you send that to Aaron for me? Because Aaron needs to record it for me so I can actually. <laughs> um, now on top of that, we then had the Mega Altaria. Mega Altaria was Body Slam, Default, Earthquake, Roost. I really want to give a massive thank you to, to Masto for sending my team. Um, also on top of that. The body slam was a Gen three uh, tutor move. It's really hard to get, especially when it comes to like going back to weekend. Um, so I really appreciate that Masto. Next thing as well was um, it was my, my, like the main point of this Altaria this week was just to defog, and it did that job really nicely. So it did a really nice job of just doing that for me. Um, and once that defog sort of happens, it really allowed Volcarona to get some space to sweep. Also Gyarados, Burninator, and Dragonite. And, like, Dragonite did a massive, important job this game. In all seriousness, if I saved the Dragonite, because I didn't think he would be both Ice Punch and Stone Edge, I think he had a lot of redundant co coverage on his team, but the Turtonator was Max Max, his death, with Flamethrower, Dragon Pulse, Rest, Sleep Pills. And if I got the um, Flamethrower off on his team, it wouldn't have mattered to spell out the game. So I probably worked out more in my favor. So that's something to note as well. Uh, next up was Gyarados. It was Taunt, Bounce, Waterfall, Dragon Dance. Now, the reason it was Taunt was to shut down uh, both Kamoa's Dragon Dance and also Clefable's uh, moves. It was a lot more, less... I originally had this as a really bulky Gyarados, but last night I remembered now that I changed it to a very offensive speed creeping. Um, yeah, that, that changed a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, it definitely makes sense talk there of you not want to miss anything, and I can definitely respect that. It's more so that it's just sometimes, I think at least from my perspective, it becomes a bit redundant. Like, if you're trying to run eight moves that don't miss. But then again, you won the match, so you can take away from that. Uh, now, the last one was uh, Cell of Blaze, my Dragonite, which was Dragon Core, Extreme Speed, and Roost, Toxic. Uh, Dragonite did amazing. What do you think, yeah, Sam? Yeah, I think it did. It did a lot more than I expected. It was really nice. It was a really nice Toxic war. Well, everything did more <laughs> than I expected. I yeah. don't know what to expect when I look at singles teams. <laughs> but yeah, it was definitely a good game to sort. What is this? Nothing is protect? Yeah. <laughs> Um, so guys, we're probably gonna we're probably gonna stop the stream now, and then we're gonna probably come back in like 10, 20 minutes. Yeah. Um, we're gonna do the all. Uh, so I also thought the scarf camo and like scarf Salas or scarf Sunny. You had a lot of scarf as it outsped my Dragonite at plus one, a plus, a plus. So it was definitely an interesting stream. Uh, and obviously as well, I highly encourage you guys to check out Sork's channel. Sork, put your YouTube channel link in now because I'm gonna say it now, so I don't yeah. don't night bother or anything. But put it in now because definitely check your side up. It's gonna be out in like a week or so. Definitely check it out there because you've seen my side of the battle. There will be a post comm, so it's easier for guys that are really timeful. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this, and this is our first stream together. Yep. Good game. Good game to my opponent. And remember, show us your smile. <laughs>